Daniel in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, writes to me, Paul, I have two 8-ohm 30-watt speakers. Okay. If I connect them in series, will the wattage double as the impedance does? So, in other words, two 30-watt 8-ohm speakers in series equals 60 watts, 16 ohms per cabinet. Two 30-watt 8-ohm speakers in parallel, 30 watts, 8 ohms cabinet. I'm a little confused by that. Um, let's, I, I know this is so confusing to people and we who deal with this day in and day out as engineers often, uh, I guess, struggle uh, knowing, you know, what it is people actually think is going on with speakers. And one of the reasons that I bring these up a lot is to try and help people understand in the simplest possible way how all this works. So basically, when you put speakers in series, you, as, as uh, Daniel puts in here correctly, you're doubling the impedance. So an 8 ohm speaker goes to 16 ohms as far as what the amplifier sees. So the amp sees 16 ohms instead of 8 ohms, okay? In order to make those two speakers play as loudly as one speaker, it isn't so much the watts that need to change, although they do. You need to double the voltage, okay? So the output of an amplifier has a certain amount of voltage. Let's just say it has 10 volts, okay? And 10 volts across a specific load like 8 ohms or 4 ohms. When that, and, and let's just assume the amplifier has all the power it needs in order to deliver 10 volts to the red and black terminals on that speaker. And it's an 8 or a 4 ohm speaker. So 10 ohms into, uh, I'm sorry, 10 volts into 8 ohms. I don't know how many watts that is, but it, it takes, let's just say it's 20 watts. If you put that same voltage out of the amplifier, same loudness out of the amplifier into a 4 ohm speaker, the amp has to deliver twice the current, hence double the wattage, in order to make the same volume level come out of the speaker. Okay, does that make sense? So 10 volts into an 8 ohm speaker is going to produce the same loudness, if they're the same sensitivity, as 10 volts into a 4 ohm speaker, but from the amplifier's perspective, it takes twice as many watts in order to keep that 10 volts at 10 volts in, in the lower impedance speaker. All right. Now, if you put two speakers in series, you still want to be able to put 10 volts across each speaker. So here's one speaker and here's another speaker, right? And you're going to put 10 volts from here and then here's our thing and then you're going to put, so I'll wiggle my fingers, 10 volts in here and here, right? Well, what happens? This is only going to get half and this is only going to get the other half. You're only going to get 5 volts across this speaker and 5 volts across this speaker. Does that make sense? 10 volts across the whole thing and then half of it here and half of it here. In order to make the same loudness, you need to have 20 volts going across this and this, and then you'll get 10 volts here and 10 volts here, okay? And then the wattage is going to be the same. So 20 volts into 16 ohms is the same wattage as 10 volts into 8 ohms. So hope that helps. I know it's confusing. I'm sorry. I don't make up all this stuff. <laughs> You'll get it. Hang in there. And I appreciate the chance to, to share this with you. And maybe, maybe somewhere a few light bulbs go, I got it. That's what I'm hoping for. All right. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later.